welcome pickleball fans to the 2024 Deeper Collegiate Georgia Super Regional. I am Peter Czernak alongside my play by uh, my uh, color guy, Mark Spackman. Mark, this is an exciting matchup here between Clemson and Southeastern University. I think we're about to see some exciting pickleball here at Pickle and Social in Buford, Georgia. This is a uh, first match is going to be a women's doubles match. Featuring, again, Southeastern University. Clemson serving first, gets the first point. It's going to be Bozetta and Feldman from Clemson playing Kusevich and Vera. We'll get through the players here in just a second. We're just getting started. And Clemson's got an early 2-0 lead. Got a lefty-righty matchup here for Clemson Mark. We do. And for those watching at home, you might notice we are playing rally scoring today. So that means a point is earned on every rally. Good hands there at the net by Samantha. You also notice the players will stay on their same side of the court in uh, rally scoring. Gabby Vera serving here for Southeastern. Unfortunate. Unforced error there gives it back to Clemson, 3-1 lead. We're serving here for Clemson is Fedora, excuse me, uh, Fiorella Bozzetto. Another point there for Clemson. Players playing with the Gamma Chuck ball today out here. Been getting a lot of good comments about that ball. It's the official ball at Duper. Good drive there by Clemson. They're going to take an early 5-1 lead. And with Rally Scoring Mark, 5-1 lead's not very safe, always. Get back in the match really quick with Rally Scoring. Oh, she pops it up and gets put away there. So these teams have been competing since yesterday. We had teams from all across the nation that came in here to pick on Social and Buford, and now we have down to four teams for our semifinals. They're battling out for their share of $6,000 in scholarship money here. Yeah, exciting stuff. That was going to sail along. it be a point for Southeastern. Samantha Kusevich is going to serve 2-6. Two opposing styles early, Mark. It's like Southeastern trying to play the slow game and Clemson just keep putting pressure on. Keeping them deep in the court, a lot of pace. Fiorella Bazzetto with the serve. Goes right back there with the hard stuff. Just can't handle it at the net there. Just keep putting the pressure on. They have to figure out a way to keep the ball low. Clemson, anything they're getting, really, you know, I always say attack above the waist, but I think they're attacking everything even above the knee right now. So they are. Uh, there. Seeley Feldman, the left-handed, blonde-headed player there for Clemson serving. There's pressure right away, and good eye there by Samantha Kusevich letting it go out. It's 3-8, Southeastern University serving. Just couldn't quite get it to fall over the net. That one hit right at the tape. It's a beautiful facility here. Buford, Georgia, we're early in the first semifinal match. Again, Clemson facing Southeastern University. And they're just uh, a little miscommunication down the middle on that last ball. Looks like Southeastern players are talking about that, trying to figure that out for next time. Probably a little bit nervous here. That's a good shot there. And as soon as they cover the middle, they go right down the yeah, line with it. Perfect shot there. Those are the ones that kind of make you feel silly out there in the court sometimes. So uh, teams will switch sides here at 11 to three. But Mark, like we said in the uh, rally scoring, 11 to three is not, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, you can get back in these matches quick. 
So it's nice, as you said, we're here at Pickle and Social in Buford, Georgia. This facility opened back on December 7th. So uh, I think today we're celebrating the four month anniversary nice. of this really cool facility with the uh, indoor and outdoor courts and some of the best food in the area. So a lot of pickleball program. And if you're ever in the Buford area, a little northeast of Atlanta, you know, to stop by and check this place out. So I mentioned they're, they're battling for their their share of six thousand dollars in in scholarship money. The winner's going to take home twenty five hundred dollars. It's pretty cool. That is really cool. It's uh, it's impressive for a little old sport called pickleball that nobody knew about two or three years ago. Well, you know, the first national championship was back in November of 2022. I think they had 150 players in that one. Now we've grown to what it is today. Man, I, can, I don't know how many were total in this here today, but it was, uh, it's been two great days of pickleball out here. We've got Clemson leading 11 to three. We're gonna bring back action here from the break of switching sides. So now closest to us in the screen here is Southeastern University, Savage and Vero. Oh, too much power there by Fiorella Bozzetto. Overhead smash puts it away to make it 13 to three. Looked like at the break, the players did decide to stay on the same side of the court. One thing about rally scoring is that a timeout or on the changeover, you can switch sides with your partner if you chose to do so. But looks like both teams wanted to stay with the, the current strategy as we see another winner down the middle. Fiorella Bozzetto just smashing them away. They're getting just a little bit too high. I was watching uh, Southeastern play in their dream breaker to get to this match. And uh, Gabby Vera, she's got a really good backhand. I'm surprised she's playing on that side of the court. Her backhand is outstanding. I didn't see what I didn't see what just happened there. From my view, the ball sailed long. Not sure they thought it touched her or not. Nonetheless, it's 15 to three here. So big early lead here. The first match, the women's doubles. This semifinal matchup featuring Clemson and Southeastern. We'll play a men's match after this and then two doubles matches. And if we're tied after that mark, it's the dream breaker and a great passing shot there down the line by Celie Feldman. A timeout here taken by Southeastern University. They're gonna try to regroup and get back in the match. Yeah, I think one thing I'd like to see from Southeastern here is that maybe they talk about getting those return of serves a little deeper. It seems like they're really getting taken advantage of by the short return. So if they could get those returns a little deeper, set up their points. Um, and uh, and also, you know, the same thing serves serves deeper too, so they can actually score some points here. Let's see if we can get a comeback coming. Yeah, I mean, you just got to string three or four together. I mean, it's tough. But uh, I mean, these guys have been playing pickleball for two full days. I'm sure they're... They're up for the challenge. The Clemson Pretty. team's making Coach Dabo proud right now. Yeah, they are. Up by uh, two touchdowns here. First time all year they've been up by two touchdowns. <laughs> so, uh, but they seem confident. Solid bunch. So both these teams will receive a bid to the Nationals now. So that Nationals is going to be held later this year in Houston, Texas in November. So four teams from each regional advance. And then if a team already has a bid, it drops down to one of the next teams. So we saw a team earlier today receive one of those bids. Another point for Clemson. Celie Feldman serving up 18 to three. Kind of surprised by the lopsided score right now. And another point for Clemson, and they're just feeling it. Everything's going right to their paddles. It's hard. It's a it's a game of runs, and it seems like this run here just keeps going for Clemson. There's the switch. Her, oh. Is that backhand? Her backhand is outstanding. Oh, this cannot fall for Southeastern. No break. Tough break. And it's going to be game point here. Celie Feldman serving for the first game of this semifinal match, and that sails out in another unforced error. And unfortunately, Southeastern just couldn't get it going. 
Clemson able to take game one in semifinal number one, Mark. And we'll be back here at Pickle and Social in two minutes. by Gamma Pickleball. At UFOS, we don't make footwear. We make shock absorbers, fatigue fighters, mobility maximizers. This is the science of active recovery. Revolutionary UFOM technology absorbs impact and reduces pressure. It's the foundation of every pair of UFOS and the key to recovering faster. This is not a shoe. This is UFOS active recovery. Activate your recovery with UFOS. Getting set, pickleball fans, for match number two here at the 2024 Duper Georgia Super Regional at Picklin Social in Beaufort, Georgia. I'm Peter Jezernak alongside Mark Spackman. And Mark, first match could not have gone much better for Clemson to start this whole semifinal. Yeah, the Clemson ladies definitely rolled through that first match, but so now we'll see the men's doubles. The, the format for everybody working here is we'll have one uh, women's doubles match followed by this men's doubles match. Then we'll have two mixed double matches. Um, and then we'll see if we're tied up there. If we happen to be tied at that, you know, it's the first one to win three matches, wins the overall match. But um, if we're tied up there, then we'll go to this special format, the Dream Breaker, where we'll get to see uh, the teams come out and compete in singles. We saw uh, a dream breaker for both of these teams to actually get to the semifinal. Both of them had to battle, uh, actually, yeah, I forgot who Clemson played. And uh, Southeastern was able to knock them off. So, again, good start for Clemson. They're up 1-0 after the women's matches. And this match here, Mark, features for Clemson, Luke Anthony and Colin Pelfrey. And for Southeastern University, it's going to be Drew Holder and, excuse me, I said Luke Anthony. He's playing with Drew Holder here for Southeastern. And uh, for Clemson, it's Colin Pelfrey and Kyle Compton. Correct. So, so they're getting warmed up here. As a, as a competitor in a tournament format, Mark, the cameras are on. It's a semifinal match. They're playing for $2,500 and some scholarship money. It's, uh, it's got to be a little nerve-wracking for these guys. Oh, yeah, I think there's some anxiety out there, a lot of pressure. you got a lot of fans starting to pile in here and knowing it's being live-streamed all back over your college campus with everybody, uh, you know, watching at home. So uh, to give you all your uh, positive feedback, I would hope, when you get back <laughs> yeah. to the dorm. What's actually really cool, they've got on the big screen here, the, the feed playing up there, so the kids are actually going to watch it after, after the points are over a little bit of a delay, but uh, we've got a perfect setting here for um, this super regional at Piglin Social, but we're going to get started. Again, the first first match, the first game in this match went to Clemson, so the guy's looking to looks even like, it up here for Southeastern. Looks like Colin Pelfrey's going to start us out. Two right-handed, all four right-handed players on the court now. It's a really good third shot drop set up, set it up perfectly, but unable to capitalize there. Drew already showing off that two hand backhand reset there on that first point. Good, 
deep return there by Clemson. Got a familiar face over there calling the game for us. Tom Richardson, certified referee. Keeping everything in check here. Oh. I love a, I love when they say I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry you scored a point. Well done there. It rolls, trickles over the net for Southeastern. I think that was just some courtesy from Drew there, but I doubt <laughs> he was too sorry about getting that winner there. And he serves it out, so. I think that was his partner. Luke. Oh, yeah. He just went a little long on the serve. It's all tied up here at two. Trying to get settled in here. It doesn't feel like anybody can get into much of a rhythm. 3-2 Southeastern serving. Ooh. Popped it up right to his forehand and thought he was going to put it away there, Mark, but he didn't. I liked it, though. He put it right on that shoulder with just a, caught him a little off balance on that. Very smart and controlled. Very impressed with these uh, male players from Southeastern, Drew and Luke. I can see why their team is here. Man, they're tall and long. They're, they cover the whole court and both arms standing in the center of the court. Drew Holder serving. Up five to two. Good put, a, put away there, right at his feet. Almost impossible to return as Southeastern has a 6 2 lead now. Oh, he gets it off the top wow. of the net and over the paddle of Kyle. Nice poach from Drew. He's a senior. Definitely showing some pickleball experience here as well. That one's going to sail out on Drew. And Clemson's going to get it back here down 3-7. Again, if you're watching at home, just want to remind you, we are playing rally scoring here. So if you're a little confused with the scoring, it's different from the traditional scoring. So the same format adopted by Major League Pickleball. A lot of fun for all the players, but a point is earned on every rally. The players also don't switch sides. Man, off the top of the net. So turnaround, turnabout's fair play there. Just interrupts the timing there for Luke, and he just hit it in the net. It's just, it seems so simple because it just moves a little bit, but it, I mean, everything about the rhythm, the timing of that shot right there gets interrupted by the tip of the net. That net core can really change the point there it is for again. sure. A little miscommunication there, I think, by Southeastern, but Luke and Drew. Talking it out, point for Clemson. You're talking about the net, Colin Johns, you know, Ben's brother is known for his distaste of the <laughs> net cords and his antics on the court. Uh, these players uh, seem to have a much better attitude about it so far today. Clemson getting their way back in it. Southeastern that's gonna be Drew serving 9-6. I like how Clemson's really keeping them deep when they can. Southeastern's able to get up there pretty quickly and an absolutely beautiful backhand shot there. Watch the replay here. This backhand is fantastic and has Clemson totally fooled. Colin didn't really know what to do when that ball was coming right at him on his forehand side. It's a heck of a play. Now Collins a little bit frustrated and hits that one in the net. It's going to be 11 to 6, and we're going to switch sides here, Mark. That's a, it's a heck of a shot. It's fun to watch. It's good. You know, Kyle is uh, from right here in Johns Creek, Georgia area, so really close to here. It's almost like his home courts. We're not far. And he was uh, part of the Georgia Regional Champs in 2023. And his partner Collins up from Fort Mill, South Carolina. And uh, he made it to the semifinals in the Virginia College Cup. So they're partnering here together. 
So what are your thoughts on this rally scoring, Peter? You know, I like it. It rewards defense. I, I'm a When I play, I like to play the net and close I can. I like to to play defense and I just think it, it rewards it rewards the defense. So if you every every point counts. So return a serve, you bury the net doesn't isn't just a side or isn't just a second serve. It's it's you actually lose a point and it, I think it really makes you fo forces you to concentrate on hitting the the better sh pickleball shot as opposed to what you think is the best shot and a good rally there by so much easier for new players to learn as well. So I really that's like that. very true too. Southeastern scores one on the first serve after the break and an unforced error there by Colin. He wants that one back in. He's frustrated. Oh, and a service error. There you go. That's an exact perfect example. You're rewarded. A, you're kind of taking a point away from yourself by a service error. 7-13 Clemson serving. They've trailed the whole match, but it doesn't really seem like a six-point game. Oh, good try there. Kyle trying to get that backhand drop no. shot in that corner, but that's a tough shot to do. Well, nice patience from Drew Holder there, just keeping them deep in the court, knowing he's got the advantage. The longer the point goes, if he's at the non-volley zone and they're at the baseline, nine times out of ten, that first play at the non-volley zone is going to win. Oh, great hands there. Drew Holder there, the net, just putting it right away. I'm really excited to see uh, Drew and his mixed doubles match that we're going to see coming up because I, uh, I think we're going to see some Ben's, uh, Ben Johns action here with him covering so? a bunch of court. He's quite the player. Clemson going to take a timeout and regroup. 15 to 7, and like I said, Clemson has been behind pretty much the whole match. And uh, not much answer for Luke by Colin and Kyle. They've just kind of been off, off balance. Seems like they haven't really been able to get in it for more than one or two points at a time. Tom Richardson's manning down the time clock there at center court. One of the best referees in the country. Lucky to have him here calling action today. Travels everywhere to do this. Commands the court well. So it's. We do have the advantage of replay today here. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. Have yeah, not had to you're right. We have it. A lot of great sportsmanship from all the players here. The Southeast is serving 15 7, coming off the timeout. See if Clemson can make the best of this timeout. And two net cords back and forth. And it doesn't quite fall over there for Drew Holder, but I mean, excuse me for Luke, but uh, man, that's a tough shot right there. Clemson going to try to get back in here down 10. Down 7, excuse me, I thought it was 18 8. Mm. Well, miscommunication there by Clemson. They tap paddles and then, then let it go. Clemson's going to have to find a way to advance in the court through the transition zone. They're getting stuck back there at the baseline. Uh, unforced error. Since the frustration for Clemson is 18 to 8, Southeastern. Stepping on the gas now. Clemson leads 1-0. They won the first women's doubles match. Oh, good firefight here. Great hands. That's fun to watch right there. Yeah, it is. Good stuff. Great hands. And the crowd, it's the first time we get to hear this crowd. Crowd always loves a good hands battle. 19-8. That one's that was called out. I think we're going to go we to may. our replay Careful what here. Careful you ask for, Mark. Oh, see the ball. Oh. As we're is. trying to locate the ball that escaped through some fencing here, we're going to get a chance to see replay on this play. Oh, this is going to be fun. I love this. 
So, like we said, we have replay, and it looks like Mark, that is really close. He called, The call was out. He called it out. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the uh, the argument about pickleball. Yeah, it's like, which way are we standing and yes. looking at this, right? right. So, so the rule is technically you're supposed to see space. Yeah, but if we were standing inside the court, would we? I mean, I don't know if I would see space. So... Uh, I'm glad we're just commentating and not <laughs> having to make the decision on this one. No doubt about that. It's so close. Uh, the Southeastern, Southeastern getting thinks excited, thinking it's going to be called in. And um, we'll go over to our referee. Very excited. I guess mentioned there's a there's a big screen in here showing the live uh, the feed, so the call is going to be in. So you see uh, Kyle yeah. Kyle Compton. Using his paddle to clap hands and tell him it was a good shot. You know what? I, I, I'm not mad calling that ball out. I mean, that's how close, close that was to call that in, in real time. Like while you're trying to play the game. That's I mean. No, that's what he saw. That's one thing I think with this. You know, there's never anybody intentionally calling the ball the wrong way. We're just playing. Sometimes we see it a little differently from our angle. I'm not so sure with the you know camera angle there that Kyle's angle was, might not right, be better. Right. You're <laughs> right about that. But no, they're serving for the lead and the ball goes out and. I guess the pickleball never lies. I don't know. There's no, there's no talent now. So it's 920. Clemson hopefully maybe. Is he gonna I'm not sure if anybody knows the score here. Here we go. I think they thought right, it was it in. Right. Okay. Oh, well, that's going to be a, another game point here. Twenty to nine, Clemson hits it out. So Colin and Kyle just couldn't quite get the mojo going. I think it was a little frustration early in the match. A couple net cords that got it, but uh, Southeastern ties it up. We got a one-one match. We're going to come back in just a minute to see match number three. Ufos, we don't make footwear. We make shock absorbers, fatigue fighters, mobility maximizers. This is the science of active recovery. Revolutionary Ufoam technology absorbs impact and reduces pressure. It's the foundation of every pair of Ufos and the key to recovering faster. This is not a shoe. This is Ufos active recovery. Activate your recovery with Ufos. Pickleball fans, we're back. We're live at Pickle and Social in Buford, Georgia. This is the 2024 Duper Georgia Super Regional. And Mark, this has uh, been exciting action. This is semifinal match number one. I'm Peter Jezernak, along with Mark Spackman. And we, uh, we saw the women battle it out, and Clemson won that in the men's doubles match. Southeastern took care of Clemson, so we're even now. It's gonna be the first of two doubles matches, uh, excuse me, mixed matches. 
Yeah, we're all tied up 1-1 here, Peter, Clemson Southeastern. So we've, we've played the women's doubles, we've played the men's doubles. Now we're going to go to some mixed doubles action. Uh, play five lines. It's the first of three that wins. If we happen to be tied 2-2, we would go to a dream breaker where all teams will uh, set a lineup and come out and play some singles. So let's see what happens. It seemed like uh, both were pretty dominant matches so far, I thought. I thought the Clemson women really dominated, and then the Southeastern men came out and dominated. So it will be uh, interesting to see what happens here when they uh, pair up with each other. Yeah, it's going uh, to be fun. So for Clemson, it's going to be uh, Kyle Compton and Fia Fiorella Bozzetto facing Samantha Kusevic and Luke Anthony from Southeastern. Fiorella going to get us started. So it'll be interesting here. Now Luke was playing on the right side when he was playing men's with his partner Drew Holder, but now he's going to move over and take over the left here. So we'll see what happens. Oh, some more dinking we've seen all semifinal match and that would sales wide there on Kyle Compton. And Southeastern's going to take an early 1-0 lead. We saw in the last match, both of these guys, great hands in the net. Big powered on the drive and an unforced error there by Luke Anthony. It's going to be Compton serving here. Down 1-2. Or 1-1. Tie the side up. Shot there by Fiorella. We saw her in the first match in the women's match and she was strong and she attacks early and often. Again, Kyle is right here from the Johns Creek area. We are in Buford, Georgia at the Pickle and Social. Pickle and Social opened back in December. It's the premier pickleball destination in the area with six indoor courts as well as eight outdoor courts. Uh, Cornhole, ping pong, or maybe I'm supposed to call it table tennis, I'm not really sure, but uh, live music and the best food in the area. Great, great, job great place for pickleball. Great job by Kyle. Jump in there and put it away. He needs to get something to boost that confidence. He seems frustrated. I think he didn't like losing that men's match just a minute ago, but he's wiped it, forgotten about it, and now we're going to, oh, goodness, he gets a tough volley up high on Samantha Kusevic, but I'm sure it was not intentional, but that one hurts. Good. Put it right on that shoulder. Good place to target if you are going to target an opponent. Fiorella Bezzetto serving up 4-2. She's driving again. Unlucky. Luke Anthony unable to put that one away. It sails long. Luke Anthony taking up 90% of the court, if not more. And that one goes out. Good shot there Just by. Slightly long. Try to get it over the big, tall Luke Anthony. And like we mentioned in the men's match, he's just long and tall. He's all over the place. Felt Good like hands. I was watching Ben and Anna Lee there <laughs> for a second. Maybe I should say Ben and Colin. I think Ben lets Anna Lee play more <laughs> in the court than he does Colin. That's may be true. May well be true. Rosetto serving at up 6-3. Oh, didn't wait till he finished calling the score. You get a rhythm, you know. You want to serve right away. Well, this Duper Collegiate Championship Series is really quite impressive, Peter. And as we talked about earlier, it started back in 2022. Schools from all over the country competing. Now it's uh, expanded, and now we're having eight Super Regionals this year. This is the Georgia Regional. Uh, that the teams will all advance to the Nationals in November in Houston, Texas. Giving, they're giving away all kinds of scholarship money there and along the way. Yeah, $32,000 in scholarship money at the final, $6,000 on the line today. Well, if my 18-year-old didn't already have some baseball scholarship money, I'd tell him to get into pickleball. That's a whole lot of money. Yeah, the way this pickleball thing is growing, that pickleball might be more uh -huh. money than baseball here for a long. still time for a switch.
Good hands there, by Samantha Fisher. Kyle Compton got pinned in the corner here, right next to us. Yeah, we're the light that had about another foot there yeah. on the court there. Or maybe you could have hit the back end. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, unfortunate error there by Luke Anthony. It'll be service back over to Clemson. Fiorella going to serve here up 8-6. Too high. Luke Anthony will put that one away all day long. Got a little bit of momentum here, maybe for Southeastern. It's getting close again. As you've talked about with this rally score, and you are never out of a match. Nice lob. Oh, couldn't get that one to roll over. And it rolled on top of the net about a foot and a half there. That's the one thing. We've seen a lot of balls in the net, rolling off the net. You know, one thing as I've been watching Fiorella play, I've noticed that she does not hit the ball in the net. It is always over um, into the other side, giving her opponents a chance. I think that's why she's so effective. You know, your first opponent when we're playing is always the net. So we got to beat the net first before we can beat our opponent. She's very patient, but strikes quick when she can. Samantha went wide out there and got that ball back. Kept it in play. I'm just amazed how quick their hands are. It's relentless. They just keep pounding away. Samantha Kusevic unable to get it over the net. And it's switch sides here at 11-8. So Clemson's got the lead at the turn here. We're tied up 1-1. Clemson took the women's match, followed by Southeastern coming back with a, a win in the men's doubles match. And now we're at 11-8 with Clemson in the lead at the turn in our first mixed doubles match. And we're playing best three out of five matches. So players competing for $6,000 in scholarship money this weekend. So. Players getting ready to go back on the court. Going to have Kyle Holder starting out the serve here for Clemson up 11-8. the first ball in the net there. So that's going to put us now at 9-11 Southeastern with Luke Anthony to serve. Oh, great hands there. Back and forth. Nice backhand drop from Luke, set up the firefight. Then it just went a little long. He ended up a little on the short end of that at the end. Nine, nine, unforced air there by Samantha. Thirteen, nine. You really can't see how much of the court Luke Anthony's taking up when he, when he steps in front of Samantha on this side. Look at all that space there. You think it would be so easy to just put it away, but he's so quick laterally. He's quick, and Samantha's been really solid at knowing her role, just being really consistent, keeping the ball back in play over there. A nice reset there. Fiorella sped it up and really got it going, and Luke Anthony's hands are just so quick. Good placement there. And the Southeastern crowd is starting to make some noise. Good pick up. Good pick up, a good put away. That was a great play. That's where we saw the use in there, that we saw a third shot drive to set up the fifth shot drop and move <laughs> in. Then he got to the non-volley zone and took over the point there. 
Great hands there by Samantha and a fantastic shot there by Fiorello. Perfect angle down the line. Again, we saw the third shot drop to set up the fifth shot drop. I like that strategy from them. That turn, it didn't go their way, but uh, that's how they're getting into that non-volley zone. Most points are won by the team at the non-volley zone. Great reset from Samantha there. Oh, man. Luke Anthony threw it out wide. Fiorella just popped it right back up. Really good shot, good setup, and good point. I think it's Samantha with that little two-handed backhand reset that got that point going the right way. She's just quietly doing You're her right. job You're over right. there. And quietly, uh, Southeastern back in this game. Not that they were really ever, ever out of it, but playing this point for the lead, or for a tie, but unforced error there. So go back to Clemson up 15-13. And now you just can't let it get too far away. I mean, rally scoring, like I said you're never really out of it, but when it's late, you just can't give up one or two unforced. That's two in a row. So. Clemson's up 16-13. This is match number three, the first of two mixed doubles matches. And a hit off the edge of the paddle, miss hit there and sails out of bounds, and it's going to be Southeastern serving down 14-16. That's one of the things I love about rally scoring. So Fiorella took a chance there, stepped in, went for that backhand, put away. Um, oh, traditional my. Oh. Wow. That bounced on top of the net and rolled on top of the net and barely dropped in before it rolled out of bounds and virtually impossible to hit. Thought Tough we might shot. see our first ATP there around, but did not go that far out. 17-14. Clemson leads. Tied up one to one. The women won for Clemson, the men won for Southeastern, and we're in a tight battle here for match number three in the first of two mixed. Good hands by Samantha. Kind of scorpion on it. Yeah, we didn't have a timeout to go to, but they've definitely, Clemson has gone to the strategy now. They're trying to get the ball to Samantha and then speed up at every opportunity they got. She's done a good job of sort of battling it back, but the last couple of points, they've kind of taken advantage of that. That uh, gets a timeout from Southeastern here. What are they talking about, Mark? Well, I think they're probably pointing out the fact what the strategy is, how they're going to do that, how they're going to get the ball redirected over Luke's way. That's uh, Brady Meir, who's over there talking with his players. Uh, Brady is the head of the Southeastern uh, Pickleball Club, so um, he's uh, giving them some feedback. He gave us a pretty good scouting report of their season. Mr. Yeah. Meir did, yeah. Yeah, they've uh, got a program been going down there for quite a while. It's, it's really cool for them to be competing with schools like Clemson out here. Samantha Kusevic from Cleveland, Ohio. That's where my mom and dad are from, Mark. Luke Anthony from Noonan, Georgia. Samantha has a background in volleyball. Luke played everything, softball, oh, excuse me, soccer, football, basketball. See a lot of volleyball players having a lot of success yeah. here. So Elise Jones at the pro level is one, a very accomplished volleyball background. 19-14 here, Clemson leads. Great hands, good battle here. Oh, it's a tough shot. That was five or six that Samantha just kept getting back and really uh, in good shape, but that one was just a little bit too high and Kyle Compton's able to put it away. and. It's now 20 to 14 mark. Clemson looks and trying to look to take a 2-1 lead. This is the great thing about rally here. And now, you know, they're uh, frozen at 20. They have to win on their serve for Clemson. So uh, Southeastern has a chance to rattle, rattle off a few points here. No consequences. Are you more aggressive here, or, or do you just keep playing steady, make them make a mistake? I always think you, you, know, you still just got to win the point, right? So you don't really want to change the style too much. Um, whatever's working. Mm, great shot by Kyle Compton to the backhand of Luke Anthony. He's unable to get it back over the net, and Clemson will serve for game point again. 
Fiorello serves deep and, and services out. And a tough way to lose it for Samantha. But she was fantastic. This um, short end of the stick there, Mark. They fall 15-21. And Clemson takes a 2-1 lead in semifinal number one from Buford, Georgia. We'll be back. Oh, are they going to the replay? Oh, we're watching the replay. It was definitely out, but when you have the toys, you can play with it. At UFOS, we don't make footwear. We make shock absorbers, fatigue fighters, mobility maximizers. This is the science of active recovery. Revolutionary UFOM technology absorbs impact and reduces pressure. It's the foundation of every pair of UFOS and the key to recovering faster. This is not a shoe. This is UFOS Active Recovery. Activate your recovery with UFOS. Check out these new Gamma paddles. Yo, I gotta try that paddle. Here you go. Play with style. Play with quantum by Gamma Pickleball. Pickleball fans, we are back at the 2024 Duper Collegiate Super National Super Regionals, excuse me, here in Buford, Georgia. It's got semifinal match number one. We just saw the first of two mixed matches. Clemson able to take a 2-1 lead. And we're going to see the second mixed doubles match here. Mark, they're getting warmed up. And what do you think about this one? Haven't seen all four of these players already play. Yeah, well, Clemson jumped out with a big win in the ladies. And then we saw Southeastern uh, jump back with a big uh, win in the men's. And then that sort of translated to a very evenly mixed match in round one now. I think from what I've seen, I'm interested to see what we're going to see from Drew Holder here on the southeastern side. I think he kind of uh, took over that men's match. Curious to see if he's going to do the same thing here in the uh, mixed doubles match. But four quality players here, so really looking forward to the action here. For Clemson, it's going to be Seely Feldman serving here. She's the lefty playing with Colin Pelfrey. And Drew Holder's partner, who's going to be returning serve here, is Gabby Vera for Southeastern, and we are set, and the first serve goes out. A little nerves there maybe for Celia Feldman. So those of you watching, you notice that Southeastern did score a point on that. We are playing rally scoring, so you earn a point on every rally today. A little nerves on both sides as we have an out serve, and then a third shot into the net there from Drew Holder. There we go. We saw it in the first game with Southeastern with Luke Anthony. And like you said, Drew Holder's going to take up, and you can see, see it pretty good uh, from this camera angle with these guys on this side of the court nearest us. But uh, he definitely takes up a majority, far, far majority of the court. He loves that one a little too high, but good reset. Gabby pops it up, and Colin puts it away, which is a recipe for success. 
in pickleball. Tied at two. Crowd starting to fill in. This is our first of two semifinal matches today here. Oh, it's a great left-handed backhand, excuse me, backhanded shot down the line and buries it right in the corner. Our semifinal matches will be followed by the championships later today. We've been playing pickleball since yesterday here as teams from all over the country have come to compete at Pickle and Social. Wow, what a point, Peter. Good firefight there. Celie Feldman doing all she could do, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Drew Holder, and he just uh, a little too much. And the southeastern crowd again. Get a little fired up. I love to see it. Such a fun sport to play, and love to see the, the younger players really gravitating towards it. You see it open play everywhere. You see it obviously here now in the collegiate level, but um, Duper doing a great job to be able to put this kind of stuff on to encourage the growth of the sport. Been a big week for Duper. We had the announcement this week. I think now we can say Duper is the official rating system of pickleball now as they've done their deal with uh, United Pickleball. Yeah. They're the official rating system for MLP, PPA, United Pickleball State Championships and these collegiate championships. So real excited for Duper and the rating. All these players that participate here take at least six hours uh, per semester at their school and all here representing their college. Oh, tough Ooh. shot there. Steve Feldman, good hustle there to get even get to it, just to get a paddle on it, but unable to control it. It's hard when you're right, right at the post right there. Drew Holder serving 7-3, Southeastern with the lead here, and it's an unforced error, return to serve there. Eight to three now. That one hits the net and sails a little long. Oh, it's the almost the exact same shot we just saw a minute ago. Good drop there by Drew Holder. Again, Seeley just unable to get it and goes right towards Great the post. Great display of athleticism yeah. just even get to that ball. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have gotten up after hitting that ball. Good backhanded, two-handed two backhand drive right there, right at Celia, and she put it in the net, and she's a little bit frustrated. And it sails out of bounds there for Drew Holder. And see if Clemson can scratch back here. Colin Pelfrey going to serve here down 5-10. There it is. That's the rally scoring for you. Now it's quickly 6-10, and you're serving with a chance to only be down by three. So the obvious strategy here is they're going after Sealy Feldman. Going to switch sides with the 11-6 lead. I mean, that's, that's what you do in pickleball, I guess, right? Well, I think you definitely strategy-wise. I mean, a lot of times if, they're, if you find a player, you may have to target. Um, but here, I think what we're seeing here is that we've, we've seen the two strengths. You know, we saw the Clemson women earlier just dominate. Then we saw the Southeastern men come out. Now we see, I mean, this is still a very evenly mixed match right here. that could go sure, either way. Yeah. So, but if Southeastern could hold on to their lead, it would set up an exciting dream breaker final here in our first semifinal to see yeah. how it goes. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. It's like a nightmare for me. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make sure everybody's in the right place at the right time. The referees do a really good job of it. Our referee today, Tom Richardson, calling us back into play here. Southeastern serving up 11 to six. And with sails long for Drew Holder and Clemson going to try to get it rolling here down 7-11. I like the soft game, though. I think I like the strategy. Just go soft. Yeah, it's been really interesting in this mix. I mean, the mix we've seen Southeastern, they have definitely played a more dominant male side. The male player stepping over to the middle of the court uh, as that ball called out. I think we're going to get to see our replay yes. here again. This one's right coming at us, too. Because it was coming right at me. 
I thought oh, they're that not going to challenge it. Oh, no, no challenge. Okay. Um, mm, looks like maybe they missed an opportunity on the challenge there. Teams get two challenges per match, but if they uh, challenge, they get it wrong, they do lose a timeout. Interesting. Our broadcast team over here is confirming our thought that that ball was probably in, but we have moved on now and there we go. A nice little dink rally. But what I was saying before we got to that call was that, you know, the Southeastern teams really playing sort of the male dominant in the middle of the court where you see Clemson's playing more uh, traditional, you know, each player covering half their court here and uh, interesting strategy. Oh. Perfect placement, a little bit of miscommunication there by Clemson, but a fantastic shot by Drew Holder. Hit it where they're not. Oh, great shot there. Colin Pelfrey steps in and Great it's play a, in by Colin. It's a behind Drew Holder. It's not the only way you can get it, get it going to get it past him. Here we are, all knotted up again here, going two point difference. Oh, great pick up there by Celie Feldman. And another one where she's got to go right towards the post again. That's a, that's the, a shot of the day. Unfortunately, she's been on the wrong side of the stick every time. I think while we're seeing her have to run for those balls, that's definitely an area. She's a lefty, so the forehand's in the middle, so they're definitely trying to target that outer fourth of the court to her back end over there. So they've been fortunate enough to have a couple of them that have been short that she's having to run out there to get. Great shot. Misdirection there by Wow, Drew. that inside out. He almost, we had the angle for that, didn't we? That was, was sweet. I thought he was shot. going down to the middle until he wasn't. It's almost like a ping pong shot. I wonder if you play a little table tennis. Comes up a little bit short on that one. Yeah, still had the weight on that back foot. Didn't get the weight transfer. So that's one thing. Got to be on that drop. Got to get that weight going from back foot to front foot. Talking about Drew Holder from Trenton, Michigan, in his Masters in the Masters program here. Played some college football and some college soccer. So quite the athlete. Very athletic young man. Yeah. So getting yeah. his master's in pickleball. <laughs> quite a player. We got a 17-12 lead now. Gabby Vera playing with Drew Holder. I watched her play that Dream Breaker match. Her two-handed backhand is great. She was running around a couple forehands to hit it. Another misdirection there by Drew Holder and just too much to handle. Colin Pelfrey didn't have an answer. It was right at his hip. That was so smart. I like seeing that. You know, so often on the speed up, we go so hard that we think then the people just step out of the way and it goes long. But he, he knew he had the advantage. He just flicked it over there, put the pressure on his opponent. Even if it came back, he would have had to put away on the next shot. Yeah. And just a flick of the wrist is so quick. Does the same again same. right there. Same shot. And even that one was even lower. Great shot and a good timeout here, I think, by Clemson. You notice when he's doing that speed up, he's not hitting it hard, and he's also targeting up high right at the player's chest. Yeah. And uh, preferably on paddle side. I think that last one is more to the backhand, but that, you know, paddle side chest is a, a great place for that just little flick speed up. And on, honestly, what did I, I think going towards their hip, you know, down in that area when, when you know they're, for, they're, they're firing forehand, 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 and then try to go toward their opposite hip, but that's what first shot he hit towards Pelfrey was right at his hip, and man, it was perfectly placed. So we're getting ready to come back out of the time timeout here. Uh, one thing about the timeout, players are allowed to switch sides. Those are the, the times you can switch sides with your partner is on a timeout or on the changeover. Uh, so far today, we have not seen a team utilize that um, as a strategy. Southeastern has a 19-12 lead and a 2-1, uh, excuse me, trailing 2-1. 
in the whole semifinal match of best of five. Put away there by Puffrey and Clemson. I don't think these Clemson Tigers are going to go down easy. Mm -hmm. They're going to battle back here. Ooh, tough. Tough backhanded return in the net there. I'd like to see Clemson just make sure they get the third shot over the net, preferably towards Gabby's area here. The exact opposite of that just happened. Yeah, they did the exact opposite. I just think that's dangerous. I know they think that, uh, you know, Drew's covering in the middle, but you're going, the, inch, the net's two inches higher over there in that side, so it's a lot lower percentage. Um, I'd rather go cross court than get behind them later. 2014, point goes out. I mean, excuse me, the ball goes out. Point goes to Clemson. Clemson now serving 15-20. Southeastern's going to have to win a point on their serve now that they're at 20. And they will serve here for the game again. It's going to be Gabby Vera serving to Seely Feldman. 2015. That's a great shot. Two really good shots by both of those ladies. Gabby Vera. So I like that. Pinned her back wait. there deep, and she picked it up and put it in a great spot and right on the line. You notice they waited until the point developed a little bit before going behind Drew. I like that. I like that patience shown there where they're waiting. That one's a little too high. There, that's the trouble. Oh, uh, she's got up a little too high. Drew able to put it away with force and deep in the court. And they're gonna be serving for the match again in 2016. Oh, great shot there by Celia Feldman. That was too high. And another misdirection forehand. And Colin Pelfrey isn't gonna miss many of those. So if we get back to Southeastern, one thing I would like, we talked about the only time you can switch sides is in the timeout. So we've had, we'll talk about it here in a second. Great return. Uh, good shot. And just a little bit of touch right there. Gets Colin Pelfrey on the move, and he's unable to return it. So Gabby Vera is going to serve here for so the 16. match game. Here's where I would have liked to see a timeout. So Gabby has served the whole match um, to, over here. So yeah. I, I would have liked to see a timeout and let Drew go for that serve one time. I know it would put him on the right side of the court. But just that mix-up one-time pressure yeah. thing. I would have liked to have seen it earlier when we were like at 2016 rather than 2018 because now I'm afraid that they do it now, it may put pressure on themselves. But they really had the chance to take a gamble earlier. Good return there by Gabby very deep. No, oh, that one goes into the net. So they're going to shot here to do it. 2018, Gabby going to serve. Southeastern University trying to even up this match. And that one goes wide. And that's going to do it. Ball sails wide ball there, down that line. Yeah, it was, it was a really good shot. Good hands there. But Drew Holder and Gabby Vera able to hold off Colin Pelfrey and Sully Feldman to even it up. Two games apiece now. Yeah, that confirms. The replay confirms it. So we're headed yeah. to a dream breaker. That's what, we, that's what we all came for, right? Some free pickleball. So we... Uh, we are going to take a break here. When we get back, we're going to see sportsmanship through this whole thing. Yeah. I mean, not only towards each other, but also with players. I mean, it's just all been super positive attitudes out of these young athletes. Oh, that one sails a little out. Clemson is. That goes a little wild. They choose not to use a challenge here. That's Remember, teams get two challenges. If the challenge is incorrect, they lose a timeout, which could be really big to lose a timeout here in a dream breaker. Oh, tough luck there by Drew Holder. Just unable to get it. Oh, there's a nice two-handed backhand from Kyle Compton on that last point. See that replay? That was way closer than I thought it was. Like, way closer. Uh, but it was definitely confirmed that it was out. Good job. Production team here is fantastic. Giving us these replays. All right. So after the first roundup, we're all even up. But now 
now we see Fiorelli taking on Luke Anthony as we see the matchup of a lady versus the guy. We are noticing in the warm-ups how Fiorelli really looks like she has quite a singles game. Strong in singles game. There's a, oh, it's a little too strong. Fiorelli Bozzetto. Just sends it a little long. It's gonna be 3-2 Southeastern serving. Great reset there. Oh, man, good hustle. What a get over man. there, though. Fantastic. Way to make him hit an extra ball as we see the replay. Sure, and it really was a good shot. It was not an easy shot for him to put back. He does put it away, but now a 4-2 lead. The crowd is starting to uh, build around us. It's pretty fun. This dream breaker format. Clemson's able to grab one here. This is huge for them if they can split here again. Southeastern really trying to make their name for themselves here in the pickleball world. She does, she evens it up. That one sails in wide, along there on Luke Anthony and Fiorella Bezzetto really just went out there and didn't back down at all. Able to split there and uh, it's four to four. So I think Southeastern was hoping for a little better result after their two men take the court than being at 4-4, but we'll see what happens here. This is Colin. Oh, great shot. Wow. Vega. Oh. Gab Vera, sorry, excuse me. Gabby, Gabby Vera. Vera shows. I think that's something we're seeing, the single skills. I think Gabby's probably got a tennis background from what I saw right there. And Colin with an unforced error there into the net. And that is uh, a little bit shocking here. They're getting a 6-4 lead. They're going Clemson uh, good return there. Kyle's going to serve. Excuse me, that's not Kyle. This is a big point right here, Colin. I think, if Southeastern could win this and take it over yeah. as they push it to the fourth rotation. Pelfrey with a serve. Oh, great hands. And man, oh. got it right into his body. He's not able to return it. And Gabby Vera wins three out of the four points there in Southeastern is getting excited. So now we're going to have, this is uh, Seely Feldman return and serve. Facing off here with, uh, excuse me, uh, Samantha Kusevich. Passing shot there by Feldman. That's going to tie it up here, 7-7. Seven, seven. Nothing Samantha Kusevich could do on that one. Oh, another one. She went back in to the right and to the left. Two really good shots there. And Clemson takes an 8-7 lead. This match is nip and tuck here, so here we go, 8-7. Out of bounds on Kusevic. All right, so we've seen our first rotation. We're pretty much yeah. knotted up, nine and seven. Now we're going to go back to the guys that started. We we'll have Kyle and Drew here battling it out. Great wow. shot there by Kyle Compton and a fist pump. Man, that's a fantastic shot. 10-7. That one's going to go out of bounds. 11-7. So is that five points, in, six points in a row now for it, Clemson? It's, it's six in a row. We're going to have a change out here. As you notice, the team switched sides. You know, I'm just impressed what, you know, how this really uh, does differentiate the teams with their singles ability. You know, Man, so we've seen the kidding. doubles. You are not kidding. Uh, some of these uh, players are just really impressing me with their uh, singles really showcases their athleticism and what they can do. <laughs> Seeing some shots I honestly wasn't really expecting. I, you're right. And it's uh, great stuff from these guys. It has uh, been nothing but impressive 
And you know, the Dream Breaker format is just a, it's exciting. I mean, as no matter what, but you know, the stakes here, trying to make it to the finals. This is semifinal match number one. Oh man, that, thing, that ball was over the net. It hit the net and it was Came popped right out over back. on top of it and then falls back down on his side. Be a point for Southeastern. Stop the run by Clemson. It's now 8 11. Oh, that one sails wide. So we're going to switch players again. It's going to be Fiorella Bozzetto and Luke Anthony. Clemson with a 12 8 lead. I like this matchup. Oh, my oh. goodness. Off the top of the net. Falls in. Again, we get the courtesy sorry from Luke there <laughs> right, about that. Right. But I think right now he'll take it any way he can get it right here. No doubt. I watched Fiorelli play some up in the Virginia regionals on their broadcast. Uh, it's uh, even more impressive in person. It was impressive on the telecast. But she's oh, yeah. quite the player over there. She's athletic. Taking a 13-9 lead. Great. Good excitement. The crowd is feeling it. The Clemson team there in that corner. Really getting behind her. Oh my goodness. Oh. Fiorello. Passing Rizzo shot. With an absolute stunner. Oh, just out of reach. See how she rolled that forehand on Man. the angle there. Doesn't get much better than that. It's going to be Gabby Vera and Colin. Pelfrey. And good serve there by Colin coming right at us. Gabby unable to get it back with a two handed back end. And Clemson takes a 16 to 9 lead. Starting to get a little out of hand here. Yeah, you don't want to let it get too far. And these players are playing for potential $6,000 in scholarship money being divided up amongst the teams today. So there is a little bit on the line here. Man, great drop shot there. And Clemson is on a run again. It's a nice touch right there, that ball. Just into the top of the net. And we're going to switch it up here. It's going to be Seeley Feldman. And Samantha Kusevic. Oh, puts it right in the corner. Too far. Good angle there. Kusevic couldn't get it. Out. Yeah. Take a break here. I love how all the players are supporting each other yeah. on every shot. Game point here, 2010. Silly Feldman serving, keeping Kusevic back deep. Good job there by Kusevic. Just get back to the net. So serve here down 11-20. Switch it up here. Kyle Compton's going to serve for the match. Coming back in at 2011 here. Notice that you have to win on your serve. They'll Kyle still continue Compton. to play four points each in each rotation. Oh, what a shot there, but it sails out. Drew Holder leaped. Wasn't able to get it. And he is glad he could not quite <laughs> reach not, that one. You're not kidding. It's 12-20. I 
thought that looked like it was out, but he it said for it was me, in. But Kyle thought it was good, and Drew confirmed it with the thumbs up. I don't know if we're going to get a replay or not. Let's see the close call replay. Yeah, it, it was definitely it. good. Great shot. A good hands there by Holder. Man, that was fantastic hands by Drew Holder. That ball tipped off the top of the net. He was able to keep his composure and get it back. Compton hits it out. And Holder will serve down 13-20. That goes out too. So Southeast are not backing down up 14-20. And this really is going to be exciting with uh, Fiorella Bazzetto taking on Luke Anthony. This is going to be fun. 14-20. Good serve there by Luke Anthony. That was too deep. And the backhand in the net. So Fiorella going to serve for the match. 2014 in the Dream Breaker. We're tied here. Semi-final number one. They hit an out ball there. And that one goes to the net. And Clemson does it. Fiorella Bazzetto able to finish it off. And Clemson is going to go to the finals. Mark, 21-14. I'm surprised. That was great. Clemson turned it up. I think it really came down to the singles play and the athleticism. I think we see why Clemson's been here before. They now advance to the championships. They won this thing last year over JMU. So uh, they're going to get a chance here after we see this next match to uh, go back to back. We will be back for semifinal number two in Pickland Social. At UFOS, we don't make footwear. We make shock absorbers, fatigue fighters, mobility maximizers. This is the science of active recovery. Revolutionary UFOM technology absorbs impact and reduces pressure. It's the foundation of every pair of UFOS and the key to recovering faster. This is not a shoe. This is UFOS active recovery. Activate your recovery with UFOS. Yeah. Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh. I go the hardest. I bring the pain. Not what you used to. It's all part of the game. Yeah. I just gotta go hard. Uh. I just gotta go hard. out these new gamma paddles. Yo, I gotta try that paddle. Here you go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Play with style. Play with quantum by Gamma Pickleball. Super. 